Hi, how you doing? I just, uh, I just want to show you this. Um, this is uh, some tree shrubs that somebody gave me back in. It was Leslie gave me back in May 2019. They've been in here for 28 months, and they were. That's oak shavings. So it was oak shavings that had been through the. Um, through my planer and thicknesser and it was this was done to see if I could dry out logs without them splitting and I had this idea that if they were surrounded by sawdust they would take they would lose the moisture much slower and it actually worked look at that that's not bad at all so it's coming down to about here the other end look at that nothing i know there's other there's there's um branches coming out here so that will help hold it together but that's really good so all i want to do is just show you what's going on so let's have a look at this this now says what does it say nine percent moisture well, that's about what my workshop is, 9% moisture. That is brilliant. There's a few more. There you go, I've written on this one. It's, um, it's Rabina Red Robin. And, I, and somebody said to me, it's really slow growing and it might make great chisel handles. Yeah, we've got some split going on there, but it's not much. You know, take the first inch off either end and might lose those what else is in here let me have a look i'll just drag it out all right so there you go so these are the these are the little logs look at that no splits that's brilliant so it works if you want to keep your logs from splitting another one with the writing on the end which is great not this is a huge success a huge success oh look at that look at the color of that that's fantastic um let me pause you a sec i think that's my thumbnail shot what do you think but look at that There's some spalting going on in there there's a split yeah it's split down here but that's where it's dried out so i think that's the reason they cut it down is because it's got problems but this is just a fantastic result, really. Nothing this end. Couple of minor, you see those? Couple of minor little um, bits on there. What else is here? Another one, look. These are great. So now, you know, when people are cutting shrubs up and they're cutting peat logs and you say, oh, save me some of those. This is the way to save them. Put them in sawdust that's all the sawdust so look that's how much sawdust there is compared to how many logs so what i did was i put a layer in the bottom of the bag which was about two and a half inches i put them end up i filled the bag full of um, shavings and then put another two and a half three inches on top so i'll put those back together um, and we'll see we'll leave them a bit longer i mean they're probably dried and that's it but I don't need them yet, so I might as well just leave them there for as long as I can. I think what I'll do now is I'll put this one back together and show how I did it. So this is how I this is how I stored these logs. A good couple of inches of sawdust at the bottom. A good couple of inches. Can you see? Hope you can see. There you go. Right. So level that out in the bottom. Get the logs and almost put them in like you're planting them. Push them down onto the push them down onto the um, the bed of sawdust at the bottom like that do that and then surround with more shavings so let's get this big thing out
So I used oak shavings because I've got oak shavings. Um, push that all around there. And I'll just squash that up so I'll get in the way. There you go. So all in there, squash it up. This is a, remember this is a paper bag. Don't do it with plastic bags. Paper bag. Roll it back up, so you've basically got a bit of air in there, loads of shavings, it can sort of breathe, but just remember those shavings are taking on, those shavings are taking on all the moisture. So if you like that video, plenty more to come, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all the rest. Cheers.